Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause the video while I got the buttons right in my calculator. Uh, so if this summation, this power series, adds up to 0. Point, we're going to go out pretty far here. 996. Zero nine three eight. So you can tell it gets really close to one. If you want to get closer to one, you can add in one more. If we add in one more term, so if we add in two to the negative nine, you know, so so adding one bit of information would yield so plus 1 over 2 to the ninth. We include this term here. Uh, we're getting 0 0.99804, whatever. Um, so you can see it's getting closer and closer to 1 with every term that we add in. Um, so this is partly why I say, you know, the, the more bits of information you have to represent your signal, the more accuracy you're going to have. So... What, what you can do here is apply this power series that we've just looked at that approaches one to also do our digital analog conversion. So here we said we have our binary word, our binary word times our least significant bit. This is converted to base 10, gives us our V out. The other way we could do this is we can say that V out is equal to, let's say we have a binary word of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, I want to use a better example. We're going to go back to the extreme. Say our binary word is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> that kind of looks like a pie, doesn't it? This thing just has a mind of its own sometimes. So that's our binary word. That's our VN, right? Um, so we're going to say that this is B1, our, our, our first bit. This is B2 right here, and so on and so forth. This is 3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. Um, so what we can do is we'll just apply the same power series, right? And we're going to take B1 times, times 2, almost messed that up, 2 to the negative 1. Right, that's the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of 1. Plus our b2 to 2 up to the negative 2. Plus, we're going to go all the way the same way through bn times 2 to the n. Okay, and this is going to be some fraction that we're going to multiply times our full scale voltage. This v should be bigger. So vfs. You know, so this is a slightly different way of going from digital to analog conversion. Um, so if we apply this word here, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, um, we've already proved up here that if B1 is a 1, and B2 is a 1, and B3 is a 1, and so on and so forth, this term approaches 1. So we're just going to call it 1, okay? So for this signal, we're going to say that this whole guy here is equal to approximately 1, right? That... V O equals to approximately 1 times our full scale voltage. Again, this should be a subscript. And we know our full scale voltage is 5. So this comes out to 5 volts. That's exactly what we expected from before, right? If we have this word at our maximum value, we are going to get approximately our 5 volt signal out. Great. So let me change it up here. We'll just do one more quick example. Let's say that our word was one zero 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 one <laughs> zero zero zero. So V input in binary is th is that. That's what's stored in our computer's memory. And we want to convert that into our into its corresponding voltage. So we're going to take B1, so B1, so which bytes are 1 is what we're concerned with. Because anything that's 0, if this if B2 is 0, this whole term goes to 0, right? This is obvious. 
you know, if bn, in this case b sub a, is 0, if this is a 0, this whole term goes to 0. So the only terms, bytes that we're concerned with are the ones that are 1s. Um, so in this case, we have b1, that's a 1. That's byte 1. 2 is a 0. 3 is a 0. 4 is a 0. 5. Okay, so b1 times 2 to the negative 1 plus all these zeros. These guys are all zeroed out. Plus byte 5 times 2 to the 5th. Right, and then these are all zeros. So plus byte six, which is a zero, times two to the six is a zero. So we have a bunch of zeros here. Dot dot dot. Um, times our full scale voltage. Again, I'm messing this up. This should be a subscript. Um, so then what we have is this is a one, and this is a one. So one times that, one times that. So that's equal to one over. 2 to the 1 plus 1 over 2 to the 5 plus a bunch of zeros <laughs> times our full scale voltage which is 5 volts right so that's a that's 1 half um, plus a 30 second so um, In decimal, that's about 0 0.531. 31 times 5 volts. Uh, I hope that's stick in there. Um, and that is equal to 2.66 volts approximately. Right? So that's our V out. And this kind of makes sense. Um, because this first byte, this first bit right here, represents a half, right? It represents one half. So we have a half plus a 30 second, which, you know, comes out to this, this decimal valuable. Multiplied by our full scale value gives us our output voltage. So real quick, we have two formulas now that we have developed to go from digital to analog. Um, our first voltage up here, uh, our first formula, sorry, was our binary word. So byte one, we have byte one, byte two, byte three, right? To byte n, base two, times our V, LSB gives us our output voltage, our analog output voltage. So all you simply have to do in this case is convert your binary number into a decimal number and multiply it by your VLSB. Very simple. Um, and we have another formula that uses our full scale voltage over here, um, which we've defined as, you know, byte one times two to the first plus byte two times two to the second. I'm sorry if you hear that. My daughter's running around my house. Um, all the way through byte n times two to the n times our full scale voltage gives us our output voltage. So right away there you go. If you know your VLSP or you know your VFS, you could apply either one of these two formulas to convert from digital to analog. Very well. We're going to stop the video here and we're going to pick up where we left off and go right in to the analog to digital conversion. And then we'll do a, f a couple examples and that should wrap things up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know what you think.